up YouTube? It's your girl looks by V Vickery. Alright, so today I am going to recreate a look I did yesterday. Um for those of you that don't follow me, I will link it right there. So we're gonna use our 35B palette. I know this is discontinued, but I still love it. I feel really bad, but I mean honestly like the James Charles palette is just as fine. But we are going to use some purpley colors today. I'm feeling the lavender vibes because, you know, Easter is right around the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom y'all in and get started. I've already primed my eyes and did my brows off camera. So, so. we're using our Beach Cosmetics number 8. Let's tap into dark purpley shade and go right in above your crease. You don't want to go in too low because you're going to cut that. So we're going to go ahead and tap it right here. And you just want to make a wing effect. because we're just going to blend out with the lighter purple. And all you're doing is taking your dense brush and just pressing in. And remember to bring it out. And trust me, baby girl, I know we look a little crazy, but it's okay because we're going to take our Morphe 330 brush and blend it in with a lighter purple, like so, and just go on the top and blend down. You really want to bring that color out as well. So you guys, tell me what you're doing for Easter since we are on lockdown. I probably will spend it outside, playing with the kids in the pool. My daughter's loving this little play pool. We tried to make slime the other day. Oh my god. If you know me in person, you know I'm not a fan of like slime or Play-Doh or anything like that. And so that was terrible. It was glitter slime too. Shout out to Hubby for doing that. Like really, it wasn't just regular slime, it was glitter. Like, oh my god. And it looks crazy, I know, but we're gonna just process. And we're actually gonna go back in and deepen that purple because we are not as purpley as I want it to be. Just pressing in. And I, like I said, it's okay if it's not blended. And you really wanna focus it on that powder we're winging it because when it out wing it out 
period. We're just gonna keep on working that color and it's a lot of back and forth motions. Honestly, if you really want a seamless look, you will be going back and forth. Blending is key, sis. Blending is key. The grind don't stop, hustle don't quit. And I saw what? Period. Okay. Now that I've blended for a half an hour, I will blend until my arm falls off. Trust the process. I'm going to use Morphe concealer to cut it. And I'm in the shade C1 2.5. So I'm just going to take it on my brush. Today we're using this brush. It's flat and it gets the job done. I constantly do it until I learn it so my eyebrows are different because I don't know today I just felt like I did them better than usual and it's okay if this one isn't covered up all the way because we will be putting purple on it just get it the best you can We'll go back up here and sharpen the edge. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and use our BH Cosmetics Daisy Marquez palette. And we're gonna take these three shades because you know the vibes. Dream on a 522 brush. We're just gonna pack her on the lid. Oh, yeah, she is gorgeous. It's always good to do it when you have a tacky base. on brush I use sometimes and we're gonna go in with lucid go on that line Daisy really went in with this color. I love it. It is so pretty. And I'm just tapping it off. Okay. Glitter eyeshadow and it is in the shade Pampered. She's like a metallic -y purple color. And I'm just gonna tap it on the wing part just to give it that 
more pigment. And then I'm just going to blend it out. And yes, she is very pigmented. Also, guys, speaking of Bianca's brush, she liked my picture the other day. Do you understand how that made my heart feel? Literally, I wanted to cry. She is my biggest inspiration, and the fact that she liked my picture tells me I'm doing the right thing. We are going places, sis. We are going places. Not with this wing though, I don't really care for it as much as I did the other side. these shimmers on. I love this brush though. It's very big for a bold eye look. We'll be going in with Lucid. I almost poked myself in the eye. So like what shows have y'all been watching during this whole quarantine? Please tell me. I have been watching Dust for Housewives. Watch Dave with my husband. Whatever. That's our show to watch together. We watch Ozark. I watch a lot of TV with him. Now we're going to go in back with the Pampered from Flutter Lash. And honestly, I want to try this just all over the lid and just do a look like that. But I had to be extra and, you know, it's fine. I'm just going to top it on the brush just to see, like, if it makes a difference. Because at this point, we really want to be careful with what we do to the other side lashes out on okay so now we are gonna go in with our elf putty primer i'm living for this actually like whenever i found it you guys i'm obsessed okay so i just take some and just pop it right here just tap it in put it up here on my nose up here I really want to try the Tatcha just to see the difference. 
But I mean, if there is no difference, that's cool. Save some bucks, because Tatcha's pretty expensive. I have a lot of pores right here. Got my T-zone. It makes my skin feel very, very smooth already. Oh, and the style of lashes I'm wearing is Lash Me Up with Bombshell. These are super nice. The packaging's super cute. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with our MAC foundation in the shade NC15. And I'm just going to take some on the back of my hand. And we're going to try that sponge again, but wet this time. Go ahead and take my sponge and just tap it in. Okay, I like this sponge definitely better wet. I definitely put too much because this is like very nice and I have a lot left on my hand. it down to the neck, maybe the ears. I think my skin looks airbrushed. Living. take a little one of these little brushes and just tap it in all over where we put any foundation or concealer and this will just help lock everything in we're gonna go in with our benefit cheek star reunion tour and I have been living for this Hula Bronzer. Honestly, so glad I purchased it. And I'm gonna take my Beauty by Bianca bronzing brush. Sugar bomb. I'm living for this trio. Like honestly, if you need a all-in-one, she is your girl. I'm gonna take cookie and I'm gonna pop her right up there. Oh yeah. Yes, baby girl. I'm gonna pop her up here. I love a nice highlight. Take her right there. And I could do this for hours. Up here. Okay. Now I look like a glazed donut. Now, we're gonna go in with our purple color. And just pop that underneath our eye. And with a lighter blue on this flat brush and go inside the waterline. Using my 35H palette, the hot spot. Super cute. You see that blue right there? That's the one we're going in. 
your eyelid. I'm just stamping in my waterline. Now we're filling some Easter colors for real, for real. Go in with Melted Matte in the shade Queen Bee. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And let me know down below what other videos I should film. If you want to know like more about me or do you like your get ready with me. Alright, bye guys. I love you so much.